right guys, so got it all together. I put another layer of uh, insulation on the top of this. Um, just because, why not? Um, I've got about 30 pounds of substrate here that I'm going to throw in here and pasteurize. So again, your aim is to get this spike down into the core of this bag. And let me layer these in here and I'll get a top down view for you guys so you can see how I'm gonna stack these in here. So I think I'm gonna put them on their side like this one next to it, each other on the rack. Now you can see how I have them in here, one next to each other. And we're gonna spike that one in the middle with the candy thermometer and see if we can get an accurate temperature reading on that. <clears throat> Now, when you're putting it in here, you just want to poke that thing right on into the bag. Put down there, and you want this right in the core. See, that bag's got to shift a little bit this way. All right, so that temperature probe is now right in the core of that. We're going to put this over here on the table so my lady doesn't freak out. I've already filled this up. So that's all full of water. You know, it's pretty easy. It pours right in, no problem. Should be easy to refill too as you're using it. So let's get this thing set up and fired up and let's time it and see how long it takes to get to temperature. All right, well, we've got some steam and it has been 15 and a half minutes. Directions weren't half bad. They said about 15 minutes for steam. So, all right, now we're gonna go ahead and screw this into our Hold on to this. Ooh, that's hot already. Let's see if this is going to hold up to the heat. Because that is pretty damn hot. Now we're going to set a timer and see how long this actually takes to get up to full operating temperature. So I'll check back in probably a couple hours and see, see what this does. All right, we are just about two and a half hours in. And we are right at 160. So I'm gonna start a two hour timer. Uh, once it hits 175, I'm gonna cut the steamer off, save some water. Uh, when I notice the temperature start to decline again, I'll cut it back on. And I just gotta babysit this thing. All right, well, as you can see, it's dark out now. Uh, we are right around four hours in. Uh, I just hit an hour and a half at temperature. I cut this thing off at 175 and we're still hovering right around 175, 180, an hour and a half later. So it's working pretty damn good, uh, I gotta say. Now I'm gonna leave it, hour and a half is the minimum. So I'm gonna leave this in here for another 30, 40 minutes and then I'll pull the bags out and we'll see how much water is in this thing and check it out and see how everything held up but yeah so far so good i like it four hours isn't too bad uh, there's 30 pounds of substrate in here uh, and i know 100 percent that it is definitely uh pasteurized properly because i've had it at that temperature for an hour and a half now so we'll give it two and then we'll pull it out and check it out all right guys well this thing has been at temperature for two hours so we are going to pop the top pull these bags out Let's see how much water is left in this thing, sitting in this thing, I should say. And be careful when, anytime you're dealing with anything with steam related because that shit will burn the crap out of you really bad. Oh, interesting. All right, so put that aside here. Okay, what's up, guys? So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to kind of give you my initial thoughts on this thing. I just got back from my trip. Uh, it was great. Happy holidays to all of you. Um, overall, I'm super, super happy with it. Um, it took four hours start to finish. 
Uh, I cut the steamer off when it hit 175. That was around the hour and a half mark. It held that temperature for an additional two hours. So I do think the installation worked. A um, couple things to note on this. Uh, it does leak water around the edges because uh, of all the steam. So be careful with that. Put a towel down, whatever you need to do, not to like make a mess. Um, the hose is really long. So make sure you, you know, wrap it up to a manageable length to, you know, keep it contained because it's not the easiest. Um, another thing to note, one of, uh, one of my viewers commented on the last video up here uh, on the assembly of this thing is uh, that this fitting does not come with the wallpaper steamers. So it only comes with the woodworking steamers. Um, so if you order wallpaper steamer, you're going to have to go out and get this fitting separately. And that's like eight to 10 bucks at Home Depot. Um, so if you're just ordering this stuff, um, to start, just go with one of these, save yourself a trip. Um, other than that, super happy with it. The only thing I think I'm going to change, maybe adding a steam vent to see if I can alleviate some of that leaking around the edges. Um, and where the fitting goes into this thing, I'm going to probably install a tube that runs the length with holes drilled in it to more evenly disperse the steam throughout. Cause I think when you pack this thing, that will help. Uh, I only had a small portion of it in there. Um, and I put 30 pounds in there and I had a lot more room. So overall super happy with it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you've built this thing or if you're planning on building it and any ideas you have, uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps uh, and share it, share it on your social media channels. If, uh, if you like my stuff, but anyway, thanks guys. Peace.